All right, so I'm gonna make a quick video explaining how you do the 10 out of 10 uh, Gristas maze. Uh, this is the bit that I use. It's uh, all T2 other than the kinetic modules. You can use T2, but uh, you're much more likely to die if you make a mistake. With this, you can make sort of little mistakes and still live. Uh, this is the fitting I recommend, but you can also use this if you're a bit cheap. This works, but it's uh, pretty scary, and if you make a mistake, you're gonna die. You need all Tengu subsystems to four at least, and you also need uh, good shield skills. As far as your uh, cargo goes, you want precision and fury heavy missiles. You need precision, without these you won't be able to kill the frigates fast enough and then the frigates will web you so much that you get killed. So you need precision. If you don't have precision, don't even bother starting the site. Okay, first things first, you want to group your guns into groups of three. You'll see why later. Okay, and activate everything. Start the gate. When you land, you want to immediately burn downwards with your afterburner on. The first room, the correct gate, is the very bottom gate, which is this one here. Sometimes you're lucky and you don't get webbed and scrammed, but most of the time you do, as I have now. So the first thing you need to do is kill all of the dire frigates. Doesn't matter what room you're in, first to last, kill the frigates first, because your speed is your key to life. If you're not going fast enough in a Tengu, you're gonna die. Okay, so you want to kill all these frigates and make your way down to the bottom gate. I'll fast forward and uh, come back once I've done that. Okay, once you've uh, killed all the frigates, as I said, bottom gate in the first room, activate it. Reload your weapons. You'll land on another acceleration gate, you want to just take it. Okay, when you land in this room, you want to make sure that you have your camera centered forward. You want to go above your ship like this. The correct gate that you're looking for is this one, the furthest to the left. Okay. Once again, you want to kill all of the Dyer frigates. Now fast forward again once I've done that. Once you've killed all the webs, followed by all the scrams, you don't actually have to kill anything else, you can leave the, fr the rest of the frigates. You want to just take the gate. Okay, on this gate, you can warp, take the gate, and then immediately select the correct gate and warp. But I'm going to show you the longer way just in case it gets stuck, okay? Take the gate into the third room. Once again, center your ship, go above it. Now 
the gate you want to take is the one that points to the left. You can just activate it now and warp off, but I'm going to show you the proper way to do it just in case you get caught. All you have to do is the same as the first two rooms, is kill these dire frigates. Webs first, scram second. Once you kill the webs, followed by the scrams, you should be scram free. And then you're free to take the gate that points to the left. I'm going to kill this last day just for completion's sake. Okay, take the gate. Warp drive. Reload. Take this gate, send to your ship. Warp drive active. So it's pointing the same way. Go above. You can also shotgun this gate, but I'm going to do it the long way just in case you get caught. The correct gate you want to take is the one that points to the right, which is the one you land on normally, which is this one. You can just activate it now, but some of you might get caught, so I'm going to show you the correct way, which is to kill the webs, followed by the scrams again. As I said, you don't have to do this, you can shotgun the belt without fighting anything if you're quick enough. This also leaves a defense for if anyone scans you down. Because if they come into the site, they're going to have to battle through all of these waves that you've left uncleaned. And they'll be pointed and scrammed in, basically, once you're inside this site. Unless another, like another Tengu comes along, they're not going to catch you because they're going to get killed on the way to the end. So if you shotgun them, you actually leave yourself a nice little defense for if you get probed out. Because they have to take all of the gates to find you at the end, they won't land on you in the final room. Okay, that's all the dials killed. You go open the gate, take it. Alright, this room is the hardest room. It's the final room. I'm going to explain a bit before we warp in. When you do warp in, you want precision loaded, okay? Make sure you've got precision. And when you land, you're going to afterburner on and you're going to burn away from the fleet stronghold as fast as you can. And you're going to primary the stasis towers. Once you've killed the stasis towers, you want to kill the stasis frigates. And once you've killed those, you want to kill the web for the um, you want to kill the scram frigates. Okay? So, I'll show you how that goes. This is the critical part. If you do this wrong, you die, okay? You got to land after being around, move away from the station, kill the stasis towers, kill the webbing frigs, kill the scrambling frigs. Okay, so I'm landing, I want to face away from the station, double click and space to align out. After being around, kill the stasis towers. This is why you want your launcher split, because you can actually kill them quicker. You don't want to wait for the module to cycle before you can fire on the next one. Okay, next two. It's all about getting your speed up. I'm at 20, this is not fast enough, you see. So I need to kill all the webs. That one's down, that one's down. Now we're at 30. Now we're at 56. There's an initial wave of frigates that will web you, and then there's also this wave that moves in. You need to kill this wave as quick as possible. Get rid of all these webs before these webs land. Because when they get here and web you, you'll be going literally 10 meters a second if you haven't killed the first ones when you land. 
Okay, so you see I've killed them now. Okay, and here comes the next wave. That's just landed, they're webbing me now. I want to kill them. The station itself webs if you get closer than 50 kilometers, so as long as you're outside of 50, you won't get the station web. See, I'm not going fast enough, I'm taking more damage than I can rep. I need to get my speed up. Once this is dead, I'll be going too fast for most things to hit me fully, so I'll start gaining our shield back. The next thing you need to do is kill all the warp scrams. Just in case, so you can get out. And then once you kill all the warp scramblers, you want to kill everything from frigate up to battlecruiser size. Leave the battleships alone. Just, just forget about the battleships. You're going to be moving so fast, they're not going to hit you enough to, be, to worry about, okay? So I'm going to fast forward through that because it's going to take a long time to kill all these frigates, all these destroyers, all these battlecruisers. You also want to kill the um, cruise missile batteries. Has run out of charges. So I recommend that you orbit the station at 51 kilometers and just kill all the frigates, all the destroyers, all the battlecruisers, the cruise missile defenses, just leave the battleships, forget about those. Alright, so once you've killed the, uh, the last tower, you're going to get yourself positioned underneath the uh, station, underneath the, uh, the fleet stronghold, about less than 10 kilometers from the stronghold. You want to jettison a bit of ammo. Okay. And just orbit this ammo at 2500 so you can keep maximum speed. Lock up the fleet station thing, fleet station stronghold, and then uh, load, load fury up because you want to do max damage. Once that's loaded up, you want to start uh, blasting on the fleet stronghold until it gets to about one third shield. And at one third shield, another wave of frigates will spawn and you want to clear those with precision missiles. So I'll fast forward to that. Okay. Once the air frigate spawn, you want to switch back to precision. And just blast them down. Get rid of all the webs. Can unlock the stronghold for now. Once again, you want to kill all the frigates. Webs first, scram second, followed by all the battlecruisers, and then just leave the battleships alone. Alright, once that wave's killed, 
And the only thing I have left is battleships. I'm gonna lock up the stronghold again. You wanna orbit? You can underneath the stronghold. The reason why you wanna be so close is because with missiles, this fires defender missiles, which will negate your damage. But if you're close enough, you don't have time to actually intercept your missiles, so you do more damage if you're closer. You want a load of fury. Orbit the can. 2500 to keep max speed. And then you're literally going to like just wail on this thing until it dies. At about one third structure, the wave of um, frigates is going to spawn. But you're just going to blast through and finish this off. And then you're going to kill the frigates. Okay, so I'll fast forward to that. Okay, uh, once you get in the structure, you want to start burning down. This gives you a distance between um, where the frigates spawn and where you are, so you don't get webbed before the station explodes. Because if that happens, you're going to get one shot. You want to burn away from the stronghold, but you want to completely kill it before you start firing on anything else. There's the frigate spawn. Keep firing on the station. You can pre lock the frigs. There goes the station. I'm unwebbed, so I'll be max speed now. I want to reload to precision. Kill the remaining frigates. Once there's only two or three left, you can start heading back towards the loot can. You might catch a weather too, but they'll be dead before you get anywhere near low shields. And pretty much everything else you can just leave, you can kill them if you want. But I just leave them. So if you do everything correctly, it's really um not that risky. If you make a mistake, you might have to overload some stuff. But as long as you do it the way I've described, you should be fine. We've got something good. It does drop the 23rd tier every time. And that's all we got this time. Which sucks, but you know, it happens. There we go. That's how you do a, um, a maze in less than an hour in a solo tango. Which doesn't cost more than 500 mil. The fit that I'm running probably is something like 4 to 500 mil. So you can do it. Now you just gotta walk off and uh, do the next one. Alright, thanks for watching.